they are flying squirrels. How do they fly? Just watch. Maybe gliding squirrel would be a more accurate name. They're nonetheless astonishing. That furry membrane stretching between the wrist and ankle makes a most efficient aerofoil. Flying squirrels are not territorial and as many as half a dozen can be foraging in the same area of woodland. Although this little squirrel may have travelled a very long distance in order to get to this valuable source of food, it's such an expert glider, it's done so with a minimum of effort. And in forests like this one, where food sources are often very widely dispersed, the ability to travel fast and far, but with very little effort, is a very valuable ability indeed. There are few gaps in these forests that defeat them. But to cross really long distances, they do need height. They steer partly with their tail and partly by moving their outstretched legs so that they vary the tension of their gliding membrane. And you can see that they can steer when one squirrel uses the same takeoff point but glides away to land on different trees. Even so, they're not agile enough in the air to escape birds of prey. So during the day, they sleep in holes and only emerge when it's dark. <laughs> 